made policy decision to legalize illegal aliens ended up paying illegals 4.2 billion in refundable credits in one year. Boom. That is CBS News. Uh, another CBS, Arpaio, Border Patrol is too busy changing diapers to go after illegal immigrants. The, the Justice Department is trying to have him arrested right now. Here's another one. Look at this woman with her the baby. In Texas, Rio Grande Valley, a seemingly endless surge of immigrants because the green light has been given. Here's the article you mentioned. White House to honor young illegal immigrants. Jakari, John, uh, more points you'd like to make. Well, uh, it's my understanding that John Bowden just received something extremely racist. Do you want to share that with us, John Bowden? Well, it's not quite a sombrero, but it's close. It's not quite a sombrero, but it's close. It's a, uh, what is this, a Border Patrol hat? So I, I would imagine that natural citizens like myself wouldn't be aware, allowed to wear this. Well, you know you can't wear that on a college campus because you would be racist against cowboys. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. And you so. can't uh, have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at high schools. That's racist. Everything's racist code except screaming, we are the race. Uh, for those in the race, everything. For those outside the race, nothing. La Raza, that's okay. Yeah, La Raza, which uh, is uh, backed up by Bill and Melinda Gates and the Ford Foundation, which uh, we might be interested in speaking with here pretty soon as well. They have an office here in Texas. Who are funding, under Bill and Melinda Gates, the forced inoculation of all 12-year-old Mexican girls, and it's linked directly to being sterilized, death, and autoimmune disorders. So instead of, instead of the La Raza groups trying to save their little girls from being sterilized, they'd rather have them flood up here to politically take our guns. That's right. As long as they can vote, yeah. They, uh, when they become of age to vote, yeah, they'll be perfect. Right. And Alex, you were asking us about what happened with that ICE interview. I guess I have one more tidbit we could throw out there. We, we talked to this ICE agent, and we said, you know, are people coming in with illnesses? He said, yes, there are people coming in with illnesses. And I say, well, you know, what's the most common type of thing you see? We see, and he said, well, from these uh, Central American countries, we see people come in with tuberculosis. And I say, well, what type of uh, medical procedures do you have for that? He said, well, we give them chest x-rays. We do all these other types of things. And John and I, we were sitting there like, well, what about the veterans at the VA? Who well, have hey, what about me? Hey, if I get tuberculosis, Well, let's I'm expand done. on that. If you have drug-resistant TB, you're not allowed to fly. You're not, and, and you shouldn't be. In fact, they lock people up that have the drug immune stuff because it'll cause a pandemic. And, and where do they have the worst tuberculosis in the world? Central and South America. See, people haven't been down there. My dad's been on a bunch of aid missions down there, you know, taking care of, you know, little kids and stuff. It is literal. He's been to Paraguay and places. The green hell. It is literally hell on earth. And all these dumb yuppies have no idea. Yeah, that's that's right. And he said, you know, it's, it lowers the morale. It also makes them concerned there at the facilities that they're bringing in people with these diseases. Well, put out the video. I know you guys are working around the clock and you're getting bonuses. You've done a great job. Put out the video for hazard duty down there. Put out the video separately with the ice guy. You know, ice whistleblower says serious diseases or drug, you know, TB coming across. Uh, you know, get into that and then show articles about the drug resistant TB so folks know it's not made up. Uh, and then and then and then put out the part about how they're basically on stand down. That is incredible. People need to know it. It's one thing to know it. It's another thing to actually see it. Now, add any other points. We're going to skip this network break. So stations shouldn't play over this. We're skipping the network break at the cost of like three thousand dollars. This is what I do because this information is too important. I want to skip this network break, this four minute break, the long break coming up. And I want you guys to turn and walk in there and ask some questions of the Border Patrol about what type of infectious diseases are coming across? Uh, why have you been following us, the media? Don't be their enemy. Say, we know you've been ordered to stand down. We know you're one of the few constitutional federal agencies. Do the talking. Say, hold on, let us do our questions and we'll go. Or let us talk to your public information officer. And finally say to them, we have video of buses coming and people loading off. We follow those vans to churches. Do you want to know where the illegals are? And they're going to tell you, no, we don't. So we need to illustrate to everyone so that when you get pulled over and a cop wants to search your car without a warrant, it's all a joke. It's all a fraud. Any other points for you march across the street, guys? John? No, I'm ready to do this. Yeah, I think we're both ready to go here. All right, you guys take over, uh, and uh, you're in charge now for the next 10 minutes. I'm going to try to not jump in your ear too much. Just, 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 I trust you. Just get in there. Don't let them control the situation. Get the questions out. Go. Okay, okay, here we yeah, go. Let everybody know where we are. All right, so once again, if you're just now joining us, I'll uh, get a shot of that so people can see. And welcome to the United States of America. Yeah, welcome to the United States. Anyway, this is Brownsville, Texas. This is the site of a Border Patrol crossing. We'll try to get across uh, the street right here.
So we're moving in, trying to get a word with a Border Patrol agent. Maybe a police officer here already waiting right. for us at the front. So we're just trying to get across the street right here. There's a gentleman at the door. Maybe he can point us to the uh, public information office. You can see the Border Patrol uh, crossing right there. You may not. Uh, no, look, look. Uh, the gentleman, Mr. Perez, is telling us that we cannot come in. Mr. Okay. Perez, can we can we get a word, Mr. Perez? Are you saying that we cannot come in? Is that what you're saying? Sir? Are you, do you wave your finger? Is that saying that we cannot come in? I was saying hello. Oh, you're saying hello. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't want to misconstrue what you're saying. Is there a public information officer we can speak to? That is me, sir. Oh, but that is you. Ask you to turn the camera off. Oh, can we park? Or we can talk to you out here? Right. Sure. Great. All right, Alex, we're going to talk to this gentleman. Uh, is this the same place I saw the illegals yesterday in that video you filed? No, no, this is a different. Uh, we can't no, talk come to in. him. I can come in. We'll talk and then we'll come back up. Okay, well, I'll leave this with John Bound. Thank you. Uh, the gentleman saying I can come in and I will rejoin you guys here. Well, well listen, here's the problem, Jakari. Yeah is that we don't yeah. want to get you guys cut off. So call him. Listen, I don't want to get shut down on this. I want to go back across the other street now and talk to the Border Patrol people. Okay. Uh, oh, so look, he's emptying his stuff out. I guess you go do it, Bound. Yeah, I'll go. I don't want to sit there and play, you know, AWAC quarterback while you guys are on the front lines. But, uh, you know, if Jakari wants to go through the checkpoint and everything, unless he has a hidden camera, it's almost pointless. I want to go over to the Border Patrol themselves. I don't want to get okay, shut down yeah. by their bureaucracy. Yeah, let's start walking, fellas. Okay, let's go to the to the uh, actual crossing itself. There we go. Now this is all federal property, which means slaves aren't uh, allowed to be their only illegal aliens. It's supposed to be, you know, my property, your property, but uh, well, here, I'm sure they'll they'll have a different. Yeah, just go over and say you want to report a bunch of illegals. Where the uh, where the vans have okay. gone from the safe houses? Excuse me, sir. And this is Infowars reporters from Brownsville, Texas, on the border, trying to talk to someone, illustrating. By the way, I've been down there before. It used to be like an ant hill of police. Yeah, we're live. I I just want to report some illegals. This guy has a gun. This guy has a an assault rifle. Well, let's go talk to him. Go talk to him. Yeah, he's they're they're ordering us to step back. I just want to report some illegals to help you guys out. John, I would I go talk to them or they'll get really aggressive. I, I would let them walk to you, you, if you because if you do that, I know their psychology. It's literally, uh, you need to go talk oh to them. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, just well, go, or they're going to ignore you. This is what they here. do. That's why the mainstream media can't ever get questions in because they just control the whole situation. Yeah, there's a sheriff. Well, they report them to the, to the police all the time and to the Border Patrol. They, they won't come get them. They go over to that Border Patrol vehicle over there and go talk to them. Jumping, springing into action. Yeah, I mean, those guys that. freak out when they see a citizen in a camera. Go over and talk to them. I guess that's what they and do. And they start best. yelling at you, let them walk to you. So what if they wave a gun around? I had the Secret you Service do that Alex? to me. Yeah, I'm here. Good job, John. Go on over and talk to that Border Patrol right there. Just go to the stop sign and call them over. Okay. Well... Excuse me, sir. Yeah, they lost our audio connection to them. No, I've, I've got you. I've got you now. Excuse me, sir. You just go closer and tell me you want to report uh, shipments of illegal aliens being smuggled in. Could I uh, have some assistance here from our federal government? Yeah, U.S. Customs Border Protection. Well, John, right you need here. to go back. And you need to go find the guy with the assault rifle and have him oh, talk to you. He's, uh, he's outside now. He's, he's, uh. Good. Go over to him. Here. All right. Here we go. Yeah, you're fine. Just let them walk to you once you're there. Yeah, he's, he's got Jakari. He's bringing him over. Good. He's, uh. See, Jakari walked over to him. Go over there. Yep. Anyways. <laughs> 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 That's ridiculous how this country. I, I really wish I had a sombrero on right now. I'll tell you what. Well, that would probably be the answer, is to literally go across and become an illegal alien. Okay, let's get Jakari plugged in, and uh, we'll find out what we were instructed. Okay, anyway. Yeah, you, this time you guys stay together. The gentleman, Mr. Perez, that gentleman we talked to was the public information officer, and he was asking us, Alex, he was saying, please do not film the facility, and I said, okay, sir, we're not looking for any, any trouble. And I was basically trying to tell them. What well, they we're always doing act here. like filming is bad, but then Google uh, uh, Street has it all. Jakari, it's pure bull. Okay, right. right. Go ahead. But the thing, uh, he said, you have to do this the proper way. I said, sir, well, how do we do this the proper way? He said, well, first of all, can you get your crew back across the street? I said, all right, sir. We'll uh, 
will abide by your wishes. I'll go back and talk to him here in a second. But first, we'll move across the street. And he said, you have to do this proper way. And I said, well, what is that? He said, you have to tell me what you're doing here. I said, sir, I'd love to tell you what I'm doing here. We're trying to show you this video and so forth. And he said, well, I can't comment on that. I can't give you any information for 21 days. I said, you're the public information officer, but you can't give me anything for 21 days. I said, is that standard procedure? He said, yes, it is. So now with that, uh, I will go back here and talk to this gentleman. And uh, I'll tell you what I found out here in just a well, few Well, listen, they're not going to stop us. We shouldn't have split up. And, 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 you know, bottom line, we need to show them up front saying they can't talk to you. You can't report the crimes being committed because they know the crimes that are being committed. You need to go right. find Border Patrol in their vehicles and go knock on their windows and say, here is the address of the safe houses. You know full well and put them on record. This is to right. illustrate because people know this is going on. It's admitted. But we have to visually illustrate it to the American people. Now, now right. is that the same facility where the buses come in and they load on the vans? I have not seen any buses as of yet. No, so that, I cannot that, that's that. in McAllen, Texas. Uh, I, I mean, I want to go show that and, and point out where that's going on to these people. Uh, we found an even better facility, and uh, we're going to go to that next. It's actually very close. And by better, you mean that it's more out of control? Well, by better, that it's where they're processing all of the illegals they catch. And they dump them out at night. Right. Right. All right, well, I'm going to head back in here and see if I can uh, get another word with uh, Mr. Press. I'll leave you and John Bounce hands. All right, they're just going to brush you off, but okay. Yeah, good luck. Well, he has, he has my identification. He, he was asking to see my ID, so I, I printed it. Oh, no, I know you got to get it back. That's fantastic. Yeah. And, and, yeah. But, I mean, the whole point is you can, you, well, you can tell our reporters what they say, and that'll be in the article, how you were brushed off, and say you're not going to let me report federal crime. And, and, and then have him refuse to take it. No grand jury is going to indict him. But the point is, it, it's an illustration of what's going on here. Okay? Right. Good job. All right. Very good. There you go. And it's going on at, at all these churches. We have their names. We have the video. And they just like, well, it's churches. You know, they're just helping. John Bown, what do you think about this? Uh, it's, it's getting worse and worse, Alex. Uh, it, it's amazing how the illegals have pretty much taken control of this entire area of Texas. And uh, their rights are more important than mine. And I was born hey, in this 50 country. miles in into Arizona, they have signs saying, do not enter this area controlled by cartels. This, this country's blood, gone. We're a joke. Go ahead. My blood fought for this country. My grandfather, my great-grandfather, and then all the way back fought for this country. And I'm garbage. Well, the point garbage. is, there is no country. We are a corporate defecation facility. I mean, we're just here for anything because we put up with it. America yeah, it, was great because we didn't put up with any garbage. Now we're pathetic because we put up with everything. We're a nation of compliers, a nation of grovelers, a nation of slaves. Yeah, and, and it's the New World Order's chessboard, and they're using their pieces right now. And we're just the pawns that need to be taken off the board. And uh, I'd, I'd say the illegals are a bigger chess piece and completely funded. The illegals, people with no rights, who should have tremendous respect for any American they meet. They look down their noses at us when they get here. Well, that's because all get... nationalism is allowed but Americana. Right. This is the nation right. where men are taught to be metrosexual. This is the nation where we're taught to be slaves. Yeah, and weak. And By the way, the last thing they distracted. want, the last thing those guys want is a scene with reporters trying to report on how the border's wide open. So believe me, you guys aren't doing anything wrong when they sit yeah. there and wave. Now, did the guy well, with the there, assault? There, there's so many Border Patrol vans around here and trucks that we can definitely start shooting an illustration by showing them that video. That would, that's absolutely but what we you're not allowed as a citizen to talk to them so what you need to do is maybe go across the border and come back when they're questioning you pull your cameras out and say yeah let me show you where the illegals are we can tell you a few miles from here you've got to make them face to face show the hypocrisy yeah i think we need a, a giant infowars flag on our car that might that might uh wake them up well i mean in their defense they are talking to us privately yeah, yeah, and, and they've got the assault rifle guy right next to him uh, because that's they want to make an American afraid. Wait, they got the guy with the gun? Yeah, I mean, he's I, standing, standing there right next to him. I mean, did he try to bow up to you when you were over there? I didn't get close enough to him for that. I wish I had. Well, go over and talk to him, man. You're a human. They come over like no, McGruff the crime yeah. dog. Just laugh at this him. This guy's a human. I'm a human, right? I mean, I'd go we're up to those humans, guys all over the place. Humans, right? <laughs> yeah, they're all a bunch of zombies, it looks like to me. Yeah.
Whatever. We'll be right back with more on the other side. We're on.